For the past 20 years, I've been suffering from an illness in which I deal with severe chronic pain daily. A lot of our viewers have that. Because of this disease at church, I'm rejected by people during the showing the sign of peace to one another. It is very hurtful to experience this at church. Maybe she has trouble shaking hands. Where you can look for fellowship and desire to be part of the body of Christ. I know from scripture reading that God does not punish us with illness and disease. How should I deal with this? I read in the book of Job that Satan must ask permission from God to bring illness upon an individual. Is this true or did I misinterpret this scripture? God bless you, Donna from New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Well, Donna from New Jersey, you've got a lot of questions in that mm -hmm. one question and they're all good ones. Uh, the one thing I would just first start off with, of course, is, uh, you know, uh, Jesus kind of supersedes uh, some of the things in, in, in the, the book of Job, right? So remember, you know, uh, as you know, the spirit is moving throughout Old Testament history, right? As we move closer and closer uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, Jesus's time, and, and of course, his definitive revelation of who God is, there are, you know, improvements or, you know, or, or broadenings uh, of who God is, especially a broadening of the notion of love. So in, in all of the prophets, right, in Isaiah particularly, right, you have this notion of the loving God in Ezekiel, the notion of the loving God, which is getting developed. Of course, it comes to fruition uh, in Jesus. So you have to be a little careful first and foremost, you know, that you don't read Job with the same kind of efficacy that you might read, for example, um, you know Jesus's words and if you you know sometimes you can see a conflict between something in the Old Testament and something in the New Testament obviously if you do see a kind of a conflict there you just have to presume you know as John Henry Newman did you know that that uh, Jesus has superseded that and of course we, we can even see that in the notion of suffering where you know Jesus clearly uh, departs from uh, you know the, the whole view that God is punishing people, uh, you know, this is, we'll see this in Deuteronomy, Leviticus, and Exodus, right, that God punishes people to the fourth generation. So you say, well, the, the child suffered, you know, I guess, well, it could have been the grandfather's fault, the great-grandfather's fault, or or whoever. Jesus doesn't uh, doesn't abide that at all. And in, in fact, in John's Gospel, of course, changes it. And then, of course, we see even, you know, uh, Jesus saying, that he reigns on the just and the unjust, and he causes his sun to shine on the good as well as the evil. So we see that Jesus does kind of improve, as it were, or broaden the notion of God. So the easiest thing to say is you can always look at the Old Testament through the lens of the New Testament, through the words of Jesus, but you should not look at the New Testament through the lens of the Old Testament, because if you do, as Jesus says, it'll be like putting Right. new wine into old wineskins. The old wineskins will burst and both the skins and the wine will be lost. Very and so that's kind of an asymmetrical hermeneutic. But to answer your second question uh, too, uh, which is a, a very important question then is, you're not being punished. Of course you're not being punished. That's, uh, you know, Jesus is, is saying that's precisely not the point. Uh, you, you, there's, of course, there's opportunities in suffering, but suffering Sufferings can come from natural causation. Mm -hmm. Sufferings can come from the hurt that you experience at church when somebody rejects you, maybe because you have trouble shaking hands or they're, they're uh, they're kind of, you know, strangely finicky about that or, or something of that nature. So the, the main thing is, yes, you, you, suffering has been caused to you, not because you are going to be punished, but in fact, mm. because, you know, these things are happening in the natural world. And also these things are happening by human causation. But the main thing for us is to is to seize the opportunity of suffering, that when somebody does that, to do what St. Francis or St. Therese did right you offer that suffering that somebody just gave mm -hmm. you offer it <clears throat> right back to them okay. which is called praying as it were for your enemies or praying for those who do ill to you right if you offer the very suffering you feel back to them uh, you actually do exactly what Jesus did on the cross mm -hmm. and you produce enormous wow. grace not only for them but for the whole mystical body of Christ as well mm -hmm. but punishment it is not so hang tough in the faith and you're going to be okay